guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Crown so guys we're going to be checking out this video together titled why are so many Koreans converting to Islam so let's watch guys I'm, I'm quite surprised to see a, quite a sizable number of Muslims here in Korea did you were you able to find out some of the reasons that they turned to Islam Right. A lot of them have, of course, different reasons of how they were first introduced to Islam. Uh, many of them I talked to, they first studied it on their own out of curiosity. And after studying it, they um, have peace and joy themselves. 20,000 Americans every year decide to convert to Islam. These converts say they don't regret their decision at all. Growing numbers of young Australian men and women who are converting to Islam. One of the world's largest religions is gaining followers from a very unlikely community. A growing number of Hispanics are changing their religion and following the teachings of Islam. Hmm. 4,000 people in moyenne every year, generally wow. young and two cultures or two faith Christians choose to become mm -hmm. Muslim. According to a report by Faith Matters, the UK is seeing a surge in Brits converting to Islam. In the last year, around 5,200 people in Britain converted to Islam, as many as 100,000 have converted in the last decade. Warum denn auch immer mehr Deutsche zu Moslems werden? Martin Toroxel wow. berichtet. It's the world's fastest growing religion, Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Islam remains the fastest growing religion. Hmm. Islam is the world's fastest growing religion. Census suggests many of them are turning to Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion in all of Canada. Islam is growing faster than ever. In some studies suggesting it could eventually become the dominant faith. Martin's Polly Boyko has the story. The number of Muslims living in Japan, though small, has more than doubled in the past decade. How big Islam has become wow. in Russia's capital city. Tens of thousands come to mark Ramadan, so many that some must even pray outside. 5,000 people converted to Islam in the UK. Laut einer Studie sind seit 2004 jedes Jahr rund 4000 Bundesbürger zum Islam übergetreten. Das sind viermal so viele wie in den Jahren zuvor. The number of converted Muslims in Norway increased to at least 3000 in recent years. And why shouldn't they be? Islam is the fastest growing religion in the UK. Despite those statistics, Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. How priests and preachers enter Islam. Many of the miracles that Jesus had done, I found them in the Quran. There were even a couple of Jesus' miracles mentioned in the Quran that were not mentioned in the Bible. What brought me to Islam is me trying to convince someone else to become a Christian. In fact, she says it was Jesus himself who led her to Islam. Oh, wow. You think Jesus led you to become a Muslim. Yes. How? Yes. Muslims believe in Jesus. We love Jesus so much and we cannot necessarily, we can't even be Muslim really if we don't believe in Jesus because that's one of our stepping stones to our religion. We do have to believe that the Torah and the Gospel were a book that was sent to prophets from God. Here in the United States, while the Muslim contingent numbers an estimated 7 to 8 million, it's growing rapidly. 20,000 new converts each year, four times as many women as men. Growing numbers of white British women are converting to Islam. I don't know if you're aware, but recently there's been a rise of Latinas converting into Islam. Mm -hmm. So why are they doing it? Mm -hmm. Crossing over why so many young Australian men and women are now converting to Islam. What, what prompted your decision to convert to Islam? Hmm. So what's going on? What is compelling so many young white women to convert to Islam? Amina, Muslim Council of Britain, you converted from Christianity to Islam. Why do you believe Islam is right? Um, I can ask any question of Islam um, and it will give me a logical and scientifically proven answer. I read this book and it's called A Brief Illustrated Guide to Understanding Islam and my little brother actually read this book last August and he accepted Islam as well too, alhamdulillah. So I read this book and I read about the scientific miracles of the Quran and this started it all. Like I've read a million other sources as well but this was the book that started it all for me. The concept of God was very bizarre growing up. I didn't understand how three could equal one. And so when I heard about Islam and they told me about all the attributes of God, this was like, 
eye-opening. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Converting to Islam, the 100,000 converts now is up from an estimated 60,000 10 years ago. The majority are women with an average age on conversion of 27. Hmm. Venons-en au dossier de cette édition consacrée à la décision prise par 30 à 70 000 personnes en France de se convertir à l'islam. Ce sont essentiellement des femmes qui font ce choix. Pour quelles raisons C'est ce que Pierre-Nicolas et Jean-Michel Mir ont demandé à deux d'entre elles. Écoutons leur témoignage. According to that same population projection, Muslims are the only major religious group expected to grow faster than the global population as a whole. I would like to tell you that Islam is amazingly coming up with a lot of women who are entering Islam at a time when people are saying that Islam is oppressive to women and also the priests, preachers, ministers like myself who have come to Islam are in great numbers. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. Today Ann Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim. But her move to Islam. Well, our next guest did just that. After being a Catholic priest in Britain, he left to become a teacher and studied in Egypt, where he converted to Islam and became a Muslim. He is now in Ireland to spread the word of the Quran, and he joins us in studio this morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning to you. Hello, this is Dr. Gerald Dirks, formerly the Reverend Gerald Dirks. In just a few moments, here on the Dean Show, we'll be talking about my conversion to Islam. Please don't go away. After going to um, Catholic school for 12 years. My faith needed a little bit more um, depth in it and I was able to find it in Islam. When I had left uh, the local church. I just decided to go to God for no reason at all. I just went to God in prayer and asked Him that I wanted the truth no matter what it takes. I picked up the Quran and held it to my face and kissed it. And I stated, why hasn't anyone told us about this? Christianity is on the decline in Europe and something else is starting to take its place. Muslims will soon outnumber practicing Christians in Europe. As a Christian, I consider Jesus a prophet. But he's a prophet of the one God, there's not several. So, as a Christian, I worship Allah. If you're not Muslim, stop scrolling. Listen, before I became Muslim, I thought that Allah was a different God. It's not. It's the same God. It's the creator of the universe. Because I'm Muslim now that I know this. Not just because of that, but I learned, I learned a lot about Islam and all of my original beliefs kind of already lined up with all of it. In Christianity, I was like, I didn't, when people asked me about the Trinity, I could, literally couldn't explain it. I was like, uh, I was like, wow, you're right. I haven't even thought about it like that. So, it just makes, it makes sense. Islam makes sense. Islam is so beautifully making sense. It's a very mm -hmm. inclusive religion. More inclusive than uh, Judaism or Christianity. Judaism has its chosen people, the circumcised. Christianity has its chosen people, the baptized. The chosen people of the Quran are all monotheists, any of them. Uh, from Adam on, there's an unceasing stream of prophets, beginning with Adam, coming down through Isaiah, Abraham, Moses, uh, Jesus, John the Baptist, uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. The name exalted over and over in Islam is Jesus. I was told that Jesus is the Messiah who will come back at the end of time to establish the kingdom of justice and peace. Not Muhammad? Not Muhammad, the Christ, son of Mary. You cannot be a Muslim if you don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. It's in the Quran. Hmm. I had the idea I should look and that was the first time that I read the Quran while I was at Bible College. SubhanAllah, the first time I read the Quran, I opened it, just opened it. It fell into uh, uh, sort of the third chapter, Surah Al-Imran, and I was reading about Jesus. I said, oh my God, I didn't know Jesus was in this book. 
Mary, Zachariah, the prophets, all the prophets. And I'm reading their history, you know, the story of their lineage, their ancestry, their, and how God has connected the story. Amazing. Hmm. Amazing story. Hmm. And I was shocked. Sheikh, I did something I, I would never do today, but I threw the Quran away. I threw it on the table. I threw it. The Quran? Because it scared me. Because suddenly I realized from that one short reading, I had another option. And I kept reading. And I kept reading until I got to this verse in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, 83. In this, in this passage, God is talking to the Christians. Maybe you know this verse. The, those who are the Christians or who call themselves the Christians, when they hear this word of God, this, this message that is sent to the Rasul, to, to Muhammad, when they see that, you see their eyes fill with tears. A sheikh, my eyes had tears in them when I read that verse. Subhanallah. And it says, they will say, mark me, mark me as a believer, mark me as a shahada, a witness to this truth. And I knew I was a Muslim at that day. I knew I was a Muslim because I knew that the Quran was the word of God because nothing could change me if it wasn't actually God changing me. I read the Quran and I, I see that thread of the message of God from Adam to Abraham, Moses, yeah. David, Saul, all the way through to Muhammad. You go to the Bible and you find the way we pray in Islam. Abraham, Abraham fell face down on the ground, Moses, and Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. What do you as a, a Christian theologian make of the prophethood of Muhammad? Um, do you have any thoughts about that? I do think uh, that Muhammad was a genuine prophet of God and that he was raised up by God and that the Quran is uh, in some way an expression of uh, God's uh, revelation. So I do uh, think that. The growth rate of population of the different religious communities hmm. in the same period was for Hindus 16.8%, Muslims 24.6%, Christians 15.5%, Sikhs 8.4%, Buddha 6.1 and Jains 5.4 percent. There will come a time, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Islam will enter into every home, even a home of hair, even a home of mud, even meaning a tent. There will be a person in that home who is Muslim. In the Sunnah of Imam Ahmed, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, this matter will keep spreading as far as the night and the day reach. And Angela isn't alone in converting to Islam. In fact, an estimated 20,000 Americans each year become Muslims. Now, I used to preach Christianity. And when I came into Islam, there were a lot of things I said, oh, I don't know if I can deal with that. I don't know if I can deal with that. But the brothers would tell me, look, everything is one step at a time. One step. And hit the first step is simple. You just repeat after me. I swear, I swear. there is no God to worship except my one God, Allah. He has no partners. Now the next part. And I swear that Muhammad is his messenger. Jesus is his messenger. Islam is one of the fastest growing religions in America. A new report by the Pew Forum shows Islam is the fastest growing religion. Lindsay Wheeler used to have no interest in religion and called herself the ultimate non-believer. But after reading one book about Islam, she turned her life around. Now she's a Muslim. If anyone wants to read the true, what they call the, the nativity story, you know, the story of Jesus' birth, go read chapter 19 of the Quran. It will make you cry. 
it will make you cry because it made me cry the first time I read it because it's nothing like the Bible. It is in a more beautiful tone of language, in a more soft-spoken, in a more true manner than you can have ever read in any other book. Start reading today. 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 Wow, I'm so speechless, guys. This is not really... I thought it was only Korean people, but millions of people all over the world are actually converting to Islam. I'm so speechless. I don't know what to say. But I want to say something that... Uh, why is it that Yusuf was actually, you know, telling the woman to swear, I swear, for taking a shahada? I don't know. That part really came to me as a surprise that you don't have to swell before you take your shahada. You are no legend. Oh, amazing, amazing. This is beautiful to watch. This is beautiful to watch. And, well, I'm short of words. I don't know. I don't know why people are converting to Muslim. I don't know why people are converting to Islam, sorry. Because Christianity too is a very beautiful religion. It's a very beautiful religion. If you take your time and read the Bible, take your time and pray, take your time and worship God. You know, in Muslim day, they recite the Quran. You know, in Christianity, we dance, we worship God, we give Him praises, yeah? But uh, one thing I know is that you can never force anybody to to follow what they don't believe in or what they are not ready to believe in. So it was a brave step for them to actually convert. It was really nice watching. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.